Yeah. 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 Me too. Me too. Not complaining. Not complaining. Well, you look beautiful, so Thank you know. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Okay, so tell us about your character. I play a detective Chloe Dancer. And you know, she's um she's kind of an average all-American girl. But I think one of the kind of funny things about my character is that um, she wanted to very young, she wanted to be an actress. And so she kind of got, got a part in a nude film. So she like got naked and everyone recognizes her from, from the that her acting career is really nowhere, and so she uh, decides to become a cop. So, you know, her whole storyline, I think, is about kind of wanting to do a good job and also fighting constantly to be taken seriously. Because I think, you know, there's all elements of, like, it's a little harder for women as it is, but then out on top, like, you've been, you've been naked in a movie and everybody knows it. So I kind of actually really like playing that storyline. It's a little funny, but I think people can relate to it. We've all done something. It's like, come on, like, you know, I don't know. I think it's relatable. But yeah. <laughs> How much were you aware of the comments before you? None. Yeah, yeah. You know, the only I was I just didn't have comic books in my household and none of my friends did, but I loved like the big movies, Superman, Batman. And um, I just came off Chicago Fire when I got the Lucifer script. And I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I I, I wanted to do something a little different. And so it's like script after script after script and I read Lucifer. It was the first one where I never set it down. Not like in a mad crazy, but just I was like, oh my god, it's good, and I was laughing, and you know the heavy parts were as well, and it just made me go, oh, this is what I want to do. Um, so I've done like a little catch up research on the comic books, but almost it's such a different show. I think, and everyone put that out there. You know, we're, we're not trying to be the comic, and and they know that, and we know that, and I think it kind of gets us off the hook. You know, we're not we're not. Like doing a documentary in the comics, you know, so I don't think we'll disappoint the hardcore fans and the fans that are open to seeing our, our kind of homage to it. That's what they'll get. So, Tom was telling us that Lucifer, like, pretty much always tells the truth. So, is your character, like, very early on aware that he's the Prince of Darkness, or do you think he's just some guy? No, no, no. I, I mean, honestly, I, I, his. his best human friend passes away and I'm the detective on the case. That's how I meet Lucifer. And I think from the beginning I just completely creeped out by him. I mean he's pushy, he's annoying, he's loud, he's like horny. I'm like, go away. You're so creepy. And so I think at first it's just like who's this fruit loop on my um at my crime scene? And then as I get to know him, as much as I hate to admit it, it's like wait, wait, wait. what he just said is really perceptive, really sharp, he's really bright. He's annoying as hell, but wait, hold on, there's something to that, and I listen and kind of go along with it, and then by the end of the pilot, it's like, he clearly has some skill, at the very least, right? Some psychic skill, some omniscient thing going on, and uh, and then something happens where it's like, wait, what happened there? You know, I get I get hurt in the show. So I think as we go along, we'll have, you'll see me questioning them, like actually see what, what's going on, what are you, what's happening? We haven't gotten there yet, but I think we will. Last question, guys. Uh, do you have a message for the viewers as they get ready to watch? Uh, hi. <laughs> How are you? How's your day going? No, um, I just think our show, you know, is a good mix of um, procedural. If you're into that, you know, I just came on the procedural show, and I know that. And I love doing that. Uh, but for me, it was also fun to have these moments of levity and to laugh and you know I don't think our show takes itself too seriously we like we are what we are and, and, and I just think there's great freedom in that and our writers are so awesome and I think we're going to try and have fun and be something different so oh and also to the religious fans you know it's like you have to honor everyone's beliefs and, and absolutely you know that's honor but I think if you are religious just possibly give our show a try because I do think that it won't be what people are expecting it's not glorifying the devil it's more of like a human story and, and within all of us how we struggle with right and wrong what we've done in our past how, how we want to be and how we struggle with good and bad so I would just say keep an open mind thank, thank you so much thank you.